Ohio University English professor Mark Halliday recently earned the distinction of distinguished professor. He gave a lecture last week at the Walter Hall Rotunda about his interest in short poetry. Mark Halliday joins us now in our studio. Thanks for being here this evening. Nice to be here. So you received a special distinction, distinguished professor from the university last week. Could you tell us a little bit about the award? Well, there's one distinguished professor chosen each year by the people who are already distinguished professors. I think there are about 15 of them presently. And uh, it's, it's a great honor. Uh, it's a little embarrassing because I know there's plenty of other professors around campus who are equally distinguished or have great achievements, but they only pick one a year and I got it this time. And when did you find out that you were first awarded um, this distinction? Uh, it was last spring, but it, it wasn't officially announced till the end of the spring quarter. And you said you were nominated for that? Yeah, yeah. The, the distinguished professors themselves receive nominations and consider uh, a set of them each year, and I'll have to do that in the next go-round. And um, tell us a little bit about what the award of distinguished professor entails. Well, it comes with some nice privileges. Uh, the distinguished professors get to meet with the president twice a year and get a kind of inside briefing on uh, the university's situation and future. And I get a term off for research next year. And I also get to uh, award uh, a tuition-free fellowship to one undergraduate each year. So um, in conjunction with that and with your award, you gave a lecture uh, last week on short poetry at the Walter Hall Rotunda. Why did you choose this topic? <laughs> Uh, because I've spent so much of my life obsessing about short poems. I, I, I said in the lecture that I estimate I may have read 120,000 short poems in, my, in the last 40 years, and I wanted to try to explain to people who might not be into poetry why I would have this obsession, why I would keep doing this. So that's what the lecture was about. And what kinds of short poems did you talk about? Well, I mostly talk about talked about sonnets because I wanted to have uh, examples that were brief enough to discuss with the audience. But I said that uh, by short poem, I, I didn't necessarily mean terribly short. It could be up to five pages. The basic idea is that uh, the poem is brief enough so that the reader can feel he or she is experiencing it all at once in one action of attention. And my, my big idea about this is that it's a model of what it is to encounter a person. So it's like meeting a person and trying to judge that person on the basis of a short encounter. Okay, and how do you feel that short poetry can be better shared outside of an academic setting, perhaps? Better shared? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I guess it's good to uh, go to poetry readings and see what you think of those. And uh, if you're lucky, you get a few good English professors who can, who can uh, spark your interest. Mark Halliday, thanks again for stopping by tonight. Sure.